atoms and molecules. How do atoms exist? Atoms of most elements are not able to exist independently. Atoms form molecules and ions. These molecules or ions aggregate in large numbers to form the matter that we can see, feel or touch. What is a molecule? A molecule is an electrically neutral group of two or more atoms chemically bonded together. The force which holds the atoms together in the molecule are called covalent bonds. Atoms of the same element or of different elements can join together to form molecules. Covalent bonds Covalent bonds form when atoms share electrons. Hydrogen atoms contain one electron and one proton. In the diagram below, two hydrogen atoms are bonded by a single covalent bond. The two atoms each share a pair of electrons. Molecules of Elements the molecule of an element contains two or more similar atoms chemically combined together. For example, a molecule of hydrogen element contains two hydrogen atoms combined together and it is written as H2. Hydrogen gas consists of H2 molecules and not of single atoms H. Nitrogen gas exists as N2 molecules, oxygen gas as O2 molecules and chlorine gas as Cl2 molecules. Ozone gas has three oxygen atoms combined together. So, ozone exists in the form of O3 molecules. Phosphorus element has four phosphorus atoms combined together. So, phosphorus exists in the form of P4 molecules. Solid sulfur element has 8 sulfur atoms joined together. Therefore, sulfur exists in the form of S8 molecules. The number of atoms present in one molecule of an element is called its atomicity. Nobel gases that is helium, neon, argon, krypton, etc. have one atom each in their molecules such as He, Ne, Ar and Kr. So, the atomicity of noble gas is 1. Noble gases are said to be monoatomic, having one atom molecules. The atomicity of metal elements like sodium that is Na, magnesium that is Mg, aluminium that is Al, copper that is Cu and iron that is Fe etc. is also taken to be 1. 2. Hydrogen H2, Nitrogen N2, Oxygen O2, Chlorine Cl2. Bromine Br2 and iodine I2 all have two atoms each in their molecules so they are considered to be diatomic having two atom molecules. 3. Ozone that is O3 has three atoms in its molecules so the atomicity of ozone is 3. Ozone is said to be Triatomic having three atom molecules. Phosphorus P4 has four atoms in its molecules. So, the atomicity of phosphorus is four. Phosphorus is said to be 
tetraatomic having four atom molecules 5 solid sulfur s8 has eight atoms in its molecules so the atomicity of sulfur is 8 sulfur is said to be octaatomic having eight atom molecules Molecules of compounds. The molecules of compound contain two or more different types of atoms chemically combined together. For example, hydrogen chloride is a compound. The molecules of hydrogen chloride, that is HCl, contains two different types of atoms. Hydrogen atom, that is H, and chlorine atom, that is Cl. Water is compound. A molecule of water, that is H2O, is made up of two different types of atoms. Hydrogen atoms H and oxygen atom O. Atoms of different elements join together in definite proportion to form molecules of compounds. Few examples are given below in the table. Molecular mass just as an atom has atomic mass, in the same way, a molecule has a molecular mass. The molecular mass of a substance is the relative mass of its molecules as compared with the mass of a carbon-12 atom taken as 12 units. The molecular mass of substance indicates the number of times one molecule of the substance is heavier than 1 by 12, that is 1 12th of a carbon-12 atom. For example, the molecular mass of hydrogen is 2, which means that a molecule of hydrogen is 2 times heavier than the 1 by 12th of a carbon-12 atom. The molecular mass is expressed in atomic mass units, that is U. Calculation of molecular mass If the molecular formula of a substance is known, its molecular mass can be calculated because the molecular mass is equal to sum of the atomic masses of all the atoms present in one molecule of the substance. For example, one molecule of water that is H2O contains two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. So, the molecular mass of water will be equal to the sum of the masses of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Knowing that the atomic mass of hydrogen is one unit and that of oxygen is 16 U, the molecular mass of water can be calculated as follows. Mass of hydrogen atom is equal to 1 U. Mass of two hydrogen atoms is equal to 2 into 1, that is 2 U. Mass of oxygen atom is equal to 16 U. Now, molecular mass of H2O is equal to mass of two hydrogen atoms plus mass of oxygen atom is equal to 2 plus 16 comes to 18 U. Thus, the molecular mass of water, H2O, is 18 U. The molecular masses of some common elements which exist as molecules are shown below. Mole of concept. Take an example of the reaction of hydrogen and oxygen to form water. 2H2 plus O2 gives 2H2O. The above reaction indicates that 1. 1. 
two molecules of hydrogen combined with one molecule of oxygen to form two molecules of water or second 4u of hydrogen molecules combined with 32u of oxygen molecules to form 36u of water molecules a chemical reaction equation indicates directly the number of atoms or molecules taking part in the reaction therefore it is more convenient to refer to the quantity of a substance in terms of the number of its molecules or atoms rather than their masses so a new unit mole was introduced one mole of any species like atoms molecules ions or particles is that quantity in number having a mass equal to its atomic or molecular mass in grams the number of particles that is atoms molecules or ions present in one mole of any substance is fixed with a value of 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 This is an experimentally obtained value. This number is called the Avogadro constant or Avogadro number, represented by n zero, named in honor of the Italian scientist Amedeo Avogadro. molar mass of atoms is also known as gram atomic mass for example atomic mass of hydrogen is equal to 1 u so gram atomic mass of hydrogen is equal to 1 gram 1 u hydrogen has only one atom of hydrogen 1 gram hydrogen has one mole atoms that is 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 atoms of hydrogen similarly 16 u oxygen has only one atom of oxygen 16 gram oxygen has one mole atoms that is 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 atoms of oxygen to find the gram molecular mass or molar mass of a molecule we keep the numerical value the same as a molecular mass but simply change units as above from u to g for example as we have already calculated molecular mass of water that is h2o is 18 u From here we understand that 18 u water has only one molecule of water 18 gram water has one mole molecules of water that is 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 molecules of water Chemists need the number of atoms and molecules while carrying out reactions and for this they need to relate the mass in grams to the number it is done as follows 1 mole is equal to 6.022 into 1023 number is equal to relative mass in grams Problem number 1 How many moles are 5 grams of calcium Atomic mass of calcium is equal to 40 u Now the solution is 1 mole of atoms is equal to gram atomic mass So 1 mole of calcium atoms is equal to gram atomic mass of calcium 
Now, 40 gram of calcium is equal to 1 mole of calcium. So, 5 gram of calcium is equal to 1 by 40 into 5 mole comes to 1 by 8 mole. This comes to again 0 0.125 mole. Thus, there are 0 0.125 mole in 5 grams of calcium. The above problem can also be solved directly by using the formula. Number of moles of atoms is equal to mass of element in grams upon gram atomic mass of element. Putting the values in the equation 5 by 40 is equal to 1 by 8 comes to 0 0.125 mole. Thus 5 grams of calcium constitute 0 0.125 mole of calcium. A yet another way of writing the above formula is by using the term molar mass in place of gram atomic mass that is number of moles of atoms is equal to mass of element in grams upon molar mass of element. In the above case, mass of element is 5 grams and molar mass of element is 40 gram per mole. Problem 2. What is the mass of 4 moles of aluminium atoms? Atomic mass of Al is equal to 27U. Now the solution is, the atomic mass of aluminium is given to be 27U. This means that 1 mole of aluminium atoms has a mass of 27 grams. Now 1 mole of aluminium atoms is equal to 27 gram. So, 4 moles of aluminium atoms is equal to 27 into 4 gram comes to 108 gram. Thus, the mass of 4 moles of aluminium atoms is 108 grams. Sample problem 3. Calculate the number of atoms in 0 0.2 mole of sodium that is Na. Now, the solution is we know that 1 mole of atoms contains 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 atoms. Now, 1 mole of sodium atoms is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 atoms. So, 0 0.2 mole of sodium atoms is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 into 0 0.2 atoms comes to 12.044 into 10 raised to power 22 atoms. Thus, 0 0.2 mole of sodium element has 12.044 into 10 raised to power 22 atoms in it. Summary. Scientists use the relative atomic mass scale to compare the masses of different atoms of elements. Atoms of carbon-12 isotopes are assigned a relative atomic mass of 12 and the relative masses of all other atoms are obtained by comparison with the mass of a carbon-12 atom. The Avogadro constant 6.022 into 1023 is defined as the number of atoms in exactly 12 gram of carbon-12. Mass of one mole of a substance is called its molar mass. That is all in this topic student. Let us learn about ion in our next topic. Till then, bye-bye.